wanted a, a robot that could interact with people uh, doing a joint task. Uh, we figured people would like to play games, and so we'd make the robot play games with people. Uh, they could interact uh, during the game. The robot could comment on the moves that the people make and then, you know, how it's, how it's doing relative to the person. Um, we chose Scrabble mainly because it was a word game, and so it would allow the robot to um, have other points of, in, of conversation. So, for instance, if you played the word cat, the robot might say, oh, that reminds me about my pet, and start telling you a story about, about his pet. So, and most people know how to play Scrabble, so it worked out, it worked out well. Uh, we believe that robots will soon be ubiquitous in society, and we want them to be able to interact with people just in the same way that people interact with other humans. Uh, for instance, if we have a robot, uh, service robot, uh, in someone's house as an assistant to someone who's uh, elderly or with disabilities, then um, this, this machine is going to be there for 24-7, and if they feel that it's more than just a machine, more than just like their dishwasher, their microwave, um, it should interact with them in ways that they believe that uh, um, anthropomorphic beings should do that. Okay, so we use our fingers, um, just tap it, and you sh we should let's both be in a game. Shall we? Okay, let's play some Scrabble. Um, when, when this light is on, it means it's your turn, so it's Victor's turn. And he's thinking about what to do. He doesn't play with much strategy, it so... Could be worse, I suppose. Got. Yeah, you're really getting. Uh, He's really picking on me. Yeah. One of the most surprising things was uh, when Victor is losing badly, he becomes angry and his mood changes, his expressions changes, and what he says changes. He's, he's very much more sarcastic when he's angry. And uh, what surprised me is how strongly people react to that. Next time you might do better, or not, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's in a good mood and he's kind of bantering, people don't tend to uh, um, type much to him. But when he starts trash talking them, they start trash talking right back. And so we get this type of interaction that's very intense. I'm pretty sure this move is best. When we were still developing it, and it was still in the lab, there, we had these. Um, uh, high school kids from Andrew's Leap come out, and um, I came in at the very end of the game. The game ended, this kid stood up, and he's like, uh, you know, you don't have any arms, I've got arms, I could slap you upside the head. And I was like, when he left, I was like, what was that all about? And they said, well, we were playing him in the angry mood to see what would happen. And I was like, wow, <laughs> yeah, it really, it really worked. You know, I think people feel that, um, you know, the robot shouldn't, you know, just because he's losing, he shouldn't be a bad sport. And they, you know, they react fairly strongly to that. That was a big surprise how strongly uh, this, this change in mood will affect people. They don't seem to, when he goes from kind of a neutral mood to a happy mood, there's not much difference, but when he gets angry, um, it's really quite uh, remarkable how, how people react in that way too. I've seen better. Uh, sure. <laughs>